The task that we are interested in is to predict the trajectories of pedestrians given short history of their and their neighbors' past behavior. Therefore, as the input feature, we are considering only the trajectories of the pedestrians in the form of Cartesian coordinates. In the given sequence, observed trajectory is shown in green, neighbors in purple, and the predicted trajectory in red. The ground truth trajectory is given in blue. A sample surveillance scenario is shown in the figure. The trajectory of pedestrian of interest is shown in green. It has two neighbors to the left, one to the front, and no neighbors to the right. The neighbors are shown in purple. Current state of the art social ill esteem approach is shown in the left. In this approach, for each pedestrian in the scene, there is an ill esteem module which predicts his or her future trajectory. The immediate preceding hidden states of all the neighbors are passed to the relevant LSTM. Then considering his or her previous hidden states and the pool hidden states of the neighbors, the relevant predictions are generated. But as stated by Chen and others in this literature, such naive LSTM architectures fail to handle lengthy and higher modular sequences such as human motion. We compare it against our proposed model. In contrast, we use multiple LSTMs for encoding and decoding the sequences. When generating predictions at each time step, we attend to all the historical hidden states of the pedestrian of interest using an attention mechanism. The soft attention mechanism used here is shown as A. In real-world scenarios with several hundred neighbors, attending to the neighborhood with soft attention is not feasible. This will make the parameter space infinitely large. Therefore, we use hardwired attention based on the Euclidean distance between the pedestrian of interest and that particular neighbor as the attention weight. These are shown as W in the figure. Then the combined context vector with both information from pedestrian of interest and the neighbors is used by the decoder to generate the future trajectory. This particular example shows two modes of motion, walking and running. As the proposed model is attending to all the previous hidden states, it has captured the multimodal nature of the pedestrian's behavior. But in the baseline model, the hidden states are dominated by the walking behavior as it is the most recent behavior. Therefore, the predictions generated by the baseline model is erroneous. While attending to the full history, the proposed model has found a similar situation. Therefore, it can anticipate that the most likely behavior is giving way to the neighbors. But, as the baseline model is only checking the immediate preceding hidden states, those information is lost and the predictions are erroneous. This example shows the importance of considering the entire history of the neighbors. The way that neighbors affect to a pedestrian in group motion is quite different to that of a pedestrian walking alone. This can be quickly captured while observing the neighborhood.